a rainy yet somber Memorial Day as Bozeman gets Montana's first Gold Star Memorial. And most importantly, the first in the state of Montana. But we don't want our loved ones to be forgotten. They sacrificed for this country and it's very important that they are remembered and honored. Dozens gathered at Sunset Hills Cemetery as steady rain fell as the Bozeman community gathered to celebrate Memorial Day. The day is more special in Bozeman as the city becomes home to Montana's first Gold Star Memorial. And it means a lot when people come out, especially when the weather's like this, and support our troops, support our veterans, just support America, really. Gail Mail is a member of the Gold Star family. Her brother, Captain Michael McKinnon, was killed in combat in 2005. Um, was on a second tour in Iraq when he was killed by an IED. And he left behind a wife and two kids. He's only 30 years old. His life was dedicated to the service of this country. So my brother was a West Point graduate, so military was his career. The siblings call Montana home. The state of Montana is incredible. Gail says receiving the outpouring of support has been tremendous. It's been incredible. Like people from all over the country, even the world, have reached out. And the support has meant everything. The unveiling ceremony included a reading from Senator Steve Daines into the congressional record in honor of Herschel Woody Williams of the Woody Williams Foundation, which puts up Gold Star monuments across the country. This will be forever enshrined in the congressional record. It also included a blessing and a prayer with a traditional 21-gun salute at the end. I just am honored to be a part of, of the Gold Star family in the sense that no one wants to be in this group, but the friendships and the quality people that we met through it has meant everything. In Bozeman, Edgar Cidio, MTN News.